by poisoning me in small doses. I don't know how he's doing it, but the fact is that I'm growing weaker every day. At night, I have such pains in my stomach that I have to bite my sheets to keep from screaming. In London, when you hear of my death, remember what I've told you today. Remember everything I've told you during these last three years, when you were kind enough to keep me company so often. Will you be my message to motto? Tell them all that they were wrong about me. But I'm not a monster. We can't have you going away with such a gloomy impression of me. And it's gloomy in here to some... Marchand, the lamp! No, I'll do it. Let me give you some light. I'm afraid it's all I can give you as a parting gift. Have you finished dictating your memo? Almost. And? What have you said about me? Nothing. Because I'm not worth it. Because you ruled the world and I am just a stupid little girl. The imperial crown of France will contribute less to my legend than the crown of thorns England forces me to wear now. But you are not a thorn. Far from it. So you have no place in my legend. But in my heart, it's a different story. Your parting gift is beautiful. What can I give you? Can you see any trinkets you like to take away with you? To remember me by? Give me a look of your hair. You, Marshal? Yes, sire. Is there anything I can do for your majesty? No. I'm very weary. Shall try to sleep. Tell me, has it been raining like that for long? Raining? But, sire, it's very fine weather today. The sun's shining. Your Majesty must be dreaming.
Twenty-nine minutes past five.